All right. Um, got these exhaust manifolds. They're the shitty log manifolds. Don't really have much of a choice. Reason being is because it's going in a Studebaker chassis and uh, yeah, guys kind of dick there and there's not a lot of options for headers for Oldsmobile motors. Uh, no one runs them besides myself for the most part. So anyhow, there's a butterfly valve in your exhaust manifold. And the reason for that is um, it's to make it cross over an intake, but we already blocked that off too. So what I did, this here's the pieces of it. What I did is I reached through with my sawzall and cut her off. And it had the donut on it before on the collector. And I soak them with the best penetrate you can get, and that's 50% uh, ATF, 50% acetone. Nothing works better. It came out like butter. So, anyhow, um, yeah, I reached in there, chopped her off with a sawzall, and then just pulled her all out because it's uh, the butterfly valve is actually tack welded to the shaft. So we're looking pretty good there. We'll pick up a little flow, and those things, the springs go on them, and they're noisier in hell sometimes. So. What we got to do now is plug that hole. You could drill on top it, but that's not our style around here. So what we're going to do is we went to use our wire welder, but of course it struck an arc and then uh, there's no wire left and no one wants to change a spool out on a day like today. So we're using the most state-of-the-art equipment there is made in America, the old Fernie. Um, it's an awesome unit. I love this thing. Uh, never always works. Doesn't matter what the hell you do to it, it works. So we're going to do a little butter pass to fill the hole with some 6011 because we're running AC around here. And we're going to put her out about 60 amps. So we're going to fill that hole with that. The 6011's fast freeze. And then once we got her filled, we'll uh, cap her off with some 18. All right, give me a sec here. Use some 332 6011. Put it in your Bernard short stuff, 400 amp stinger. They're the best, they'll always be the best. I don't care what anyone says. And uh, give her all the way. That's all crocheted in. We ran that at about 60 amps. Plug the old whore into the 90 amp outlet. Feed her some 18. Since we got this on an angle, I'm going to just kind of weave it back and forth and then go up with it. Run your 18 up. Good as fuck. Alright, till next time.